Hello students, hope you are doing well. Information technology, which is also known as IT, is one of the oldest and popular courses in engineering for which lakhs of students apply every year. The course is of undergraduate level, which is of a total of four years duration. Each year is divided into two semesters and the exams are conducted after each semester. There are tons of career opportunities that the candidates can pursue after completing their B.Tech in Information Technology course. In this video, we'll talk about the important details for B.Tech IT course such as eligibility, admission process, fee, career prospects, colleges, etc. Before moving forward, let us know a bit about B.Tech IT course. B.Tech IT, that is Information Technology, is a four-year undergraduate engineering course where students are taught and trained in the concept of software development. B.Tech IT is on par with the BCA course. However, the career prospects may vary for BCA and B.Tech IT candidates. If you are looking for a bright career in the field of software engineering or development, this course is the best option. As IT is one of the dominant industries in India, the scope of career prospects are high with this degree. Students aspiring to study an IT course at B.Tech course must know that a good knowledge of mathematics and physics is required to excel. All the details about B.Tech IT course such as eligibility, admission process, fees, career fees, etc. can be checked from this video. Let us first know what are the eligibility criteria that are required to get admission to B.Tech IT course. Let us talk about the three eligibility rules. The, as per the eligibility rule 1, the candidate must have passed class 12 with a minimum of 45 to 50 percent of marks. Along with this, the candidates must have passed 12th in PCM that is Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. As per the eligibility rule 2, the candidates who have passed class 12th with computer science as one of the optional or major subjects are also eligible for admission. As per the eligibility rule 3, the candidate must clear the entrance exam to be eligible for the admission process. Now let us look at the admission process for BTEC IT course which is divided into two processes. The first process is admission through entrance exam. Candidates aspiring for BTEC IT admission must clear an entrance exam that can be national level or state level or a university level entrance exam. For example, JE Main is the national level entrance exam for admission in BTEC courses at NITs, GFTIs, IIITs and other private engineering colleges in India. States like Rajasthan, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Maharashtra also accept JE Main score for BTEC admission. Therefore, the candidates need to clear the entrance exam. On the other hand, various states conduct their own engineering entrance exam for BTEC admission. For example, APEM set in Andhra Pradesh, WBJE in West Bengal, MHT set in Maharashtra, where JE main score is also accepted, TSEM set in Telangana, K set in Karnataka, etc. Candidates need to clear the respective entrance exams to be eligible for admission process in respective states. Various deemed universities in India also conduct an entrance exam for BTEC IT admission. Some of the top deemed university entrance exams are SRM JEEE, VIT EEE, BITSAT, Vignan SAT, SUAT, KL EEE, etc. After conducting the entrance exam, various exam bodies conduct counselling process and the students who have qualified for the entrance test will have to attend the counselling process where seats will be allotted for admission. The second admission process is through direct admission. If you do not have a valid score in any of the entrance exam, you can still get admission in BTEC IT course through the direct admission process. For this purpose, you'll have to visit any of the private engineering college or private deemed university. The admission will be granted only if seats are vacant under management quota of the respective college or university. Meanwhile, you can also fill the common application form of College Deco for admission related assistance. Our counsellor will get back to you and guide you through the admission process. The link for the common application form will be provided to you at the end of the video. 
Now let us look at the syllabus for BTEC IT course which will be divided into four years. For the first year syllabus the subjects will be programming and problem solving, computer aided design and drafting, introduction to computer science and engineering, engineering mathematics, engineering physics, engineering chemistry, application based programming in Python. The second year syllabus will consist computer organization and architecture, object oriented programming using Java, discrete structures, data structures, principles of operating system, computer networks and database management system. The third year of syllabus will consist of uh, subjects such as design and analysis of algorithm, software engineering and testing methodologies, quantitative aptitude behavioral and interpersonal skills, design and analysis of algorithm, Android application development, web technologies and management for engineers. The last year of the syllabus consists of artificial intelligence, lab for artificial intelligence, the final project and industrial internship. Now let us look at the various career options and job prospects for BTEC IT candidates. The graduates of BTEC IT can land in lucrative jobs as the scope of employment is high in the sector. As IT is one of the booming industries, there are higher chance of securing jobs in India as well as abroad. Some of the common uh, career options that the candidate can go for after graduating in BTEC IT include game designer, IT content developer, software developer, IT specialist, system analyst, database designer, graphic designer, quality analyst, etc. Some of the top recruiting companies for BTEC IT graduates are IBM, TCS, Wipro, Amazon, Google, Infosys, Accenture, BEL, Siemens, Microsoft, Adobe, etc. All in all, BTEC IT degree will land you in the software industry with some of the very good paying jobs. The career growth after this degree is high and the average salary that you can expect after graduating in this course in the starting ranges somewhere in between 2 to 5 lakhs which also depends on your experience and skills. After graduating in BTEC IT, you can also go for higher studies in IT or MCA. That's all for today. Thank you. If you have any question regarding the course, you can ask me on the provided link. Also, if you are looking for direct admission in the engineering courses in any state, you can also fill common application form on the provided link. For more updates on engineering courses and admissions, stay tuned to College Deco. Thank you. If you like this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.